Hello, YouTube. Today I'm going to do my sofrito. I always tell everyone that wait till y'all start seeing me do the sofrito. Got some good ingredients. Got the blender, the olive oil. We got some cilantro, sweet peppers, red onions, green peppers in there, and some garlic whole garlic nuts oops well there you go <laughs> so we're gonna do the sofrito today and I'm gonna show you how y'all make sofrito and mix it up so for any of those that don't know how to do sofrito your own ingredients I can show you so hopefully y'all enjoy this channel or oh, enjoy what I'm gonna do so, you know, to learn something. So let's see. So we want to box them, cut them, square them out, you know, cut them, sweet peppers, the onions, the red onions, you know, is all cut up. You know, square them up, you know. And we got the garlic and we got the cilantro. So when we put it all in the blender, we want to cut it like this, not so tiny and not so big. We're going to put the olive oil in the blender. Like that, so, you know. You see? I see. Like. olive oil you fill it up to the black top there because the oil you really is up to like half of this because of the bottom shape you know you see how the bottom shape is so you know there's more space there All right and the first second thing you're going to put is the onions so that it can make it wet and be able to instead of using water you use the onions Put the green peppers, the garlic, the onions. Always want to start with the onions because the onions got, you know, the water. And then well, the garlic, put it in the blender. Put all that in the blender because you're going to mix it all up together. Put all that there. And even the little tiny seeds like these, it's okay. You're not the one with that. You can still use that for all that. So all this, I had to cut it, which I did not cut it before doing starting this video. So we're going to cut it in cubes. Throw that there. The onions. Put all that. Put some more cilantro. That's what's gonna get the color. I got the like, gallito too, the leaf. But from the store they had it from, they already cut it up in pieces. You know, so I'm gonna put that at the end because it's already blended. Cut all that. This sweet peppers. Get all the colors of the sweet peppers. All the peppers: green pepper, red, orange, yellow. See, I got the big yellow. This is the big orange one. Cut it, cube it. You know, like in square. Put that in there. The garlic. Try to have as well. Can't use that one now. Try to have as much garlic as you could have. The the red peppers, the big ones. Put all that in there. Some more cilantro. This here is two cilantro already. I got another two more in the fridge. Because I'm using like four. I'm making a big one. Put all that in there. All that. And 
another bag sweet pepper. Grab one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that there too. I'm gonna keep that. Putting all that in there. More garlic. I see a whole lot of that. See this whole pot is full. This is the whole sofrito, everything. You're gonna put all that in the blender. Blend it all up, cut the sweet peppers, the green peppers. I didn't put no green peppers yet. Here go. The green pepper. Put some of that. Blend it all up. Put all the flavor, everything mess already. And you do it like that. You keep doing it. You don't put so much yuck, onions or green sweet peppers. You got to put it like little at a time so it blends all together so at the end it won't be so hard for you to blend miss it all and then put it in the blender and let's see um i guess i could put the blender right here and let's see all right so let's put it into blender color looks so white because it's the onions that's what's gonna make it start you know blending all together and little by little you know keep well I should have kept cutting now I'm gonna just cut in between to put more now I'm gonna change the color because I want it already green so I'm gonna put some of the cilantro already changing something like orange and reddish so it's gonna turn green This better so I can push it down while it's when it try to push it down because you want to keep stacking that up every time it goes down so it can't put another green pepper. I push the, the ice crush mist button because I don't want it to like lick be liquid. I want it to be chunks, little tiny chunks. That kind of softly though. I'm gonna push it down more. 
much and then I push the chop button so I could chop it up now. It was just so I could start it up. My blender is old as heck, so I am not trying to burn it out. Alright, push it a little more. This smell is banging already. I don't even really need to cut it, which I should. You know? That's it. You can do it like that too, you ain't got no night to know, no situation. Put the green pepper so I could start changing the colors, you know? You want to change the color. So my blender is really old. Oh, it didn't even start burning. So I like to do so quick. Because I never had time. I, I always forget to get a new blender. And I've been having this for years. Shame that I still have the old blender. I I feel like it may still work. If I get a new one to break down. for the top to go to the bottom. This is old. <laughs> I'm still able to use it, so if it still works, it works fine by me. Damn, it smells real good. The garlic, I can smell everything delicious. I'm telling you, yo, you use my sofrito for any, for rice, beans, Turkey, pork, it'll be coming out big. Because I got different kinds, not everyone uses different peppers for sofrito. I do. I use all kinds of peppers. Especially the onions, the red, the sweet, the white, the garlic, especially. Always, you see how it's turning? It's coming out looking bad. If you can taste this, you will love it. Not everybody will eat sofrito like this, like with crackers and snacks. Nobody, you don't see nobody do that. My son, he could, he eats my sofrito with crackers, and he, and I said, what the heck? I seen him when he was young. I was like, what you doing? He said, I'm eating the sofrito, man, right? That's the, um, like, um, salad thing, right? And I said, yeah, really? And every time I did sofrito, he, if he could eat it in a cracker, it's good. Times he did tell me that it's something missing because he, he can't eat it with a, with a cracker. So then, you know, I put a little special ingredient here that not too many people know. All natural products, fresh. Tell you. And it's turning green because of green pepper, cilantro, and it's the green pepper, cilantro that makes it green. Heavy because this shit is burning out. One freaking damn. Wow. I don't know if I'll be able to keep doing my sofrito, man. Damn. But anyway, I ain't got time. I just, I ain't got time to like 
buy new ones. And plus, that's how I was raised, or that's how I am. It's only burning because I never actually cleaned that day. I should have been cleaned that day. That's the. Mm. Well, you see how it's coming out? You see that? That's all this. All this in here. Yo. And if you was here, you would smell the burn from here. But it's okay. It's all right. I got money to buy me one. Just I always don't remember to because it's not important. Because I only do this like once every two months or once every three months. So I don't always use my blender only for this. So feed them. So, and you see how, look, let me show y'all. You see how the chunk is? Look, the chunk. You see how the chunk is like that? That's how you want the sofrito. You don't want it so watery, too thick. Just enough. You want to just chop it up, blend it up just enough so it could be like that. You know, you see how, look, like how it come down like that, chunks? Yeah, that's how you want it. So, I'm going to put this now in here for now. See? This should be packed. This is going to be packed. Because I'm going to get some from my, um, my boss. My boss who hired me, him and his family. So, I want them to try my sofrito. Check it out and see how they like it. But anyway, I forgot one thing. You want to leave some spill in there so it don't be so hard for you to blend it. Or if you got a great blender, that's beautiful. But for me, I'm going to have to put it like that so it could, you know, start working a little quicker. And don't take long. Because my blender is, oh. Alright, so let me put this to the side. For now. You know. Okay. Now put some more. Wait, put this right back in there. I'm not even gonna cut it with the knife. Old school. Old ghetto style, whatever way you wanna call it. You know? Because if you could do sofrito, and you could just do it, all your food, your rice, soup, it will be so good with all that. Oh, man, I lost one on the floor. Yeah. Yo, it would come out banging. For sofrito. Of course, I got to use the knife for the um, onions because can't cut that with my finger. I'm just going to cut all the peppers. Damn. God. I wasn't even expecting it. <laughs> Put some garlic. Some cilantro and I got more cilantro in the fridge because I got me like four of them so I'm definitely going to use them because this sofrito is going to be coming out banging you can make stew soup roast grill yo grill man my sofrito be coming out banging I'm telling y'all Not too many people try my sofrito. Not too many. So whoever did, you can't lie. You can't lie. It was good. It was good. Nobody never complained about my sofrito. Straight up. The orange. There's the orange peppers. I use all kinds of peppers. This one was the yellow pepper that fell the piece. Put half, so I want to keep missing it, you know. The sweet red peppers. Let me see another sweet one, the orange red peppers. I'm gonna just leave it like that. I'm not even gonna cut that. Yo, come my mm, I'm telling you, it smells so good. I'm gonna put a whole lot of garlic this time, you know. You know? 
all this is going. This is the whole sofrito. All this. It only filled all this that I cut. It only filled up. Let me see. I can't even see my eyes now since the carbon monoxide. A little sun vision. Wow, I can't see. Well, I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell. This is like, what, two inches? And a half or something? I don't know. But all this in this pot, if one one of these of the blender filled up like a quarter, yeah, this is like a quarter you could say fill up. So it's like a quarter of this. This is, you know. So put some more green peppers. And I don't need to cut the onions. Well, I do, of course, but I'm saying, like, I don't need to put the onions right now because it's got the juice here still. Now, I got heavier with the blender because I feel like it's all catch on fire. Man. Should have cleaned that. Maybe I should have did that one. Old school again. Praying that it keep going. Yeah. It's Monday. Yeah. Alright, let me push it down. I'm trying to do this quick because I don't trust this blend. I think this might be the last day I'm going to have this blend done. So lucky. Hopefully it keep going right now. Please. Please keep going. I ain't ashamed. I work hard. I work every day. I'm tired. My day off. My last day. Back to work tomorrow. That's why I be scared because then this shit starts shaking and I feel it right here. That's why I'm holding on to the top. <laughs> okay, let it go small then. Okay, turn it up for a minute. <laughs> because. I don't think I'm gonna survive to do all these things I should. Oh man. It was working fine the last time. It lasts, it lasted. it wasn't you know shut tight all that time but it's still burning you know the that metal two piece right there I'm gonna fill all this up and I'm actually it's gonna be so much that I'm gonna have to fill it all and then put it all in here so my job that was gonna throw this out in the trash. So I figured let me just clean it and take it for my sofrito. Cause it was gonna go to the trash. So it's not like I'm still there. Anyway, I have to keep turning it. It is the damn thing keep burning. Like it smell like burn. 
I guess I am going to have to buy me a brand new blender. I say maybe next month or two from now. Okay, I'll try this again. I'm trying to finish this quick. So, before it shut down, breaks down. I'm trying to do this a free throw here. Natural herbs, natural veg veggies, you know, everything natural and fresh with the olive oil, you know. Put a little bit of that. Got the onions, you know. The cilantro. The white onions. The yellow onions. Sweet peppers. Green peppers. Red peppers. Yellow orange. Garlic. Everything natural. You know? So everything, you know, is all natural. It's not no, um... All that imitation stuff. This is all, you know, and it smells so good. It has garlic in it. You can smell the garlic and the cilantro. I'm telling you. So I'm, now I'm gonna go get the recaito in the fridge that I told y'all that um, on the store, the market. It's already like this. But only the recaito by itself. Nothing else added to it. Because I can't find the leaf out here. So I'm going to have to use one of the, you know, use it like that. That they already did it for me. I don't know, you know. People do things differently, you know. So let me go get that out of the fridge. Be back. Okay, so look. This is the recaito. You see how it is already? They already missed that by itself. Just the... The gaito leaf, you know, that's what they told me. So, you see, I thought it was, I had a lot. I forgot I've been using it anyway before I did this sofrito. So, I usually get the leaf of, this is the cilantro leaf. I'm not talking about the cilantro leaf, because yes, this is an important ingredient to have. But I was also talking about the recaito leaf. Yo, that... Is what makes the shit, you know, that really hook it up. So, mm, you can smell the real recaito in here. So, that's, that's all good, you know, but I like to have to leave myself so I can see rings and take away what I don't want because I, I don't take, you know, I, I was, it just, everyone do things differently. So, I'm going to put this in the blender. Cause this, if I had to leave, it would have been like this maybe, but I like to put a little extra, you know, I'm telling you, now, this is going to change it all, alright, hold up, let me first miss Time. Especially with this blender. <laughs> I had this blender with me and this came with me from what happened with me and carbon monoxide. I'll let y'all know in the future story. But I went back to get some of my stuff and I had brought this back with me. So trust me, it was not a Great year. Anyway, let me turn this on. Watch this. Let's just change the colors now. But this is what really, like, I mean, all the green change the colors, but this is what's the flavor. And I don't know if they really have exactly the real Bacayu for here. You know, people be saying they do, and it's not the real Bacayu. You know? And I want the real Bacayu. Yeah, 
See how thick that's supposed to be? See? It's a little thick, a little watery. This is mmm. So now I'm gonna put it in there. And I wish that blender did not smell like it was burning. I got heavy up before I start firing this mother. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta still put a little more. Cause this blender is dying, actually. Mmm. Wow. You see. Oh my god. I smell it. It's so delicious. Now this time I'm gonna put some of this already. Because my blender ain't got time. It's dying real soon. Hopefully it does not die while I'm doing this. As a matter of fact, I ain't got time to be breaking too much. You know? See how shit happens? It can happen to any of us. <laughs> and maybe not to you, but to me it sure did. Ain't nobody perfect. I ain't better than nobody. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna put the whole damn thing, for, excuse my language, forget about it. Put all that. Everything. Cause this blender is going down. <laughs> it is going down. For all this. And you know what? Let me pause this and get it all together so I can show y'all then. Because it's the same thing. I ain't doing nothing different. It's the same thing. I keep doing the same thing over until it's all gone and done. And I can show you then how it looks when it's all together mess. And then what I do after that. That's what makes it different. And I can't. It's, that's a secret. So I'll show y'all some clip of it. So hold up and I'll be back. Let me cut all this and finish this and get back to you. Hold up. Okay, so like now I put my special ingredients, which I cannot tell y'all right here. It gotta be leave a comment, get back to me, and we can talk. Maybe I can trust you, maybe I can't, I don't know. But I got a certain kind of seasoned ingredient that is natural. That is basically almost like this, but dry. It's not adorable, okay? So don't get it twisted. It's not adorable. None of that. But I can't tell you one ingredient that I do use. I can let you know that one. So that's going to be, I put some, one of these package of adobo. And this one is not just any adobo. You can just choose. I mean, you could, you want to, it's your business, but I don't. Oh, that piece right there in my finger, my, my hand. Hmm, bang it. Well, I use the adobo, the one that says con achot, con culantro, cilantro, cilantro, excuse me, <laughs> y achote. Because that's what gives the colors, the achote, adobo. People always thinking that you could just use adobo and it's gonna come out, bang, or whatever. No, you can't. You gotta use the one with achote when you want the color, red, you know? So I put some of this, just one of this. In here, I put my secret ingredients, which I will let y'all know. Leave a comment, you wanna know? Get back to me, email me, whatever. I put that there. Then, what I also did is, I love parsley. I don't know if you watched any of my videos before, it's whack. I know. It's just stupid shit, you know, just having fun. I work nine to five job, I ain't got time for this. So I'm just trying to see what this could do for me. I do sofrito. I know how I make sofrito, yo. I'm telling you, this would give the best tasting ingredients of for like turkey, roast beef, um, pork shoulders, which I love pork shoulders. I love my thin Pork shoulder is the bomb because I love pig. I love pig feet too. Um, there's food that I do not know how to, you know, roast or cook or bake. 
I could be honest. But with this so fleet though, it will come out banging. Whatever I cannot do. Which I would love for someone out there can help me learn how to do something, you know, cook, and I could put some of my ingredients, or you could try some of mine, and they come out good, I'm telling you. So anyway, back to the sofrito. So I put parsley. I put like a sprinkle of parsley, and the truth, I put, a, I got two ingredients, an, another one, I forgot that one. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's a different kind now, I've been using lately. But everyone that ever tried it, loved it. I used to work for like a deli. I'll let y'all know in the future. Anyway, I used to work for them in the deli with, for this boss. And my co-workers, I had let them try my sofrito. And it was good, I'm telling you. There's a critic, he's beautiful, I love him to death. Welsh, my Welshie, I love you. He tried my sofrito. Yo, he said it was so damn good, he ate it with crack. He could eat it with crackers, or he ate it, I forgot exactly, you know. But he told me it was so good. And he did the same way as my son did. And my son ate that with crackers. It was like, um, it was so good. It was like, you know, some people eat crackers with a lot of different things, right? But can you imagine eating crackers? With my sofrito. I mean the truth. That's how good it is. The piece that was in my hand there. Took a taste of that. And it's banging. So anyway. I did back to the sofrito again. <laughs> so I put all that. That I just told you. My special ingredients. The sazon. Con achote. Cilantro. Right. Some parsley. And my special ingredients. And then. Remember there was the second batch? First was like a quarter. The second was it's a half. Look, it's like a half, right? So yeah, it's like a half or oh, sixty percent you could say. So I got hooked that up. That's so that once I start missing everything, it's gonna be a little faster because only only I'm doing this because of my blender is dying. She did good, baby. You did good for a long time. It's okay. <laughs> so, and she burning up. I, yo, it's still hot here. You know? And it's burning every time it, it turns, do all this. So, anyway, back to the sofrito again. <laughs> okay, I put, let me take it out. So, look, I did the same thing. I put my special ingredients, which I say, leave a comment, get back to me, questions, whatever, I'll get back to you. You know, let me know. So I put special ingredients. I put some sauce on. Put my chorche. Or chorche cilantro. Cilantro. Right? And parsley. So, I'm going to mix it one more time. And I only got a little bit left to do. Let me show you. And remember, I still got the recaito here. I wish I had the damn leaf. Because the leaf... It will be, yo, this will be green. Right now, my sofrito is not coming out green this time. Like it usually does. So, I, I love it when it's green with all my ingredients. But if it was green, it would be like sofrito, you know? So, it's coming out like the sofrito that people you see in the um, bodega, grocery store, markets. That look like, you know, when you open the one, they got sofrito and um, recaito. The recaito is the green one, which I want the recaito. And which they don't always really have the real recaito. I noticed that for many years, buying the Goya. The, I don't, I, I'm not going to be too sure. I'm not going to say too much. You know, allegedly, I don't know what. Right? I got to say those things. Right? But they don't have the recaito. It's not like the real heck I eat or leave, yo. That is the bomb. That's what makes the sofrito, man. So my sofrito is not the way I usually would love to do it. The way I hook my thing up. But I got to, you know, I got alternatives. So 
It's gonna be this one. It's gonna be the orange looking kind of sofrito, like other sofritos. I want mine to be the green sofrito. The one that says recaito. Recaito is supposed to be a sofrito thing. And the sofrito one that is not green looks like this. But mine, you can eat this with cracker. That's the difference. You can eat it with cracker and cheese if you want. Or cracker with a sofrito with a salami or ham, turkey, whatever. In a piece of, in a piece of um, cracker, man. Stop playing. So this is it. And I still got this left. Yeah, man. And I'm not to use it because I'm not wasting it. So my sofrito don't come out this color. I wanted, I didn't realize that I only had three. You see, gotta turn it off. Three cilantro and only three green peppers. If I would have five green peppers and five cilantro and the recaito, then I wouldn't mind want to use all this and stuff because it would be so green. You know, with all that. But it's still okay, good. It's still gonna be good with all this. I'm gonna finish it all up. It just gonna, my sofrito this time came out like this sofrito. The color. I want it to be green. That's that's what you call the real sofrito when you got the greenish in that. I'm not saying that the, the other ones are not real sofrito because they all are. But it's that grandmama, abuela, old school color of that greenness that comes out because they love putting cilantro, 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 recaito and green peppers. That's the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the sh That's what it is. That's what makes the sofrito. And but all this too. You know all this. Sweet peppers, all this stuff. Garlic, especially the garlic, you know. The red onions. The yellow onions. The white onions, you know, all this good stuff, so that's great, but it's that well I think that, that makes it green, yo, that's that green pepper, cilantro, and recaito, yo, that's the shit. Anyway, let me get back to this and finish this and let you see how it come out. Alright, so I got to fill all this, this like four times doing the, um, the blender four times so I'm missing everything up I still ain't done I still got more to go which is a whole damn lot and I'm exhausted because it's my last day off and back to work tomorrow nine to five but I just start at eleven to seven so just wanna let y'all see look at my sofrito you see the thickness yeah, because when when you season anything, whatever, like say, you don't want to use too much of this stuff, like right? so it could be thick like that. You don't have to. This is like a season. All you gotta do is take one handful, one little, not even. Look, this not even a handful. Look, it's not even. Take like two or just a whole damn spoon. You season the whole damn kind the whole meat. You know. And, and right there, you want to hook that sucker up, you take a whole lot, you stuff that damn turkey or pork shoulder up and meat, roast beef up, ribs, pork chops, you could do it with chicken, soup. Look at all this. Let me see, I'm, I'm disturbing it all down. Yeah. Make sure this don't fall. Disturbing it all up. Uh, let the damn blender cool down. She survived for a long time. Yeah, you know, serve it all down. I still got more to do. I got these onions. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn. Okay, that's a whole lot of still so sweet I got to do. And it smells good. Mmm, it does. So I like it. You see, I'm telling you, when you do it yourself, you'll see the difference and the smells like you smell you smell that before, but it's like a 
like a grandma touch yo smell like old school and it's you know it's good man I'm telling you and I'm gonna put some and some and what I like to do too when I do sofrito I like to you know just cut some pieces up and just put it in there you find it when you do when you cook it you might find a piece or two or four or five or less or one piece because you know this is a lot when you mix it all up together you might find one or two or three or less of pieces but that's the thing about it it could be anything you could be cooking and, and just look one piece of freaking peppers right there just one piece anybody wish they had that piece because that got the flavor you know soaking in that so look i'm cutting up the sweet this one is actually not even the sweet pepper this is the orange peppers i'm cutting them up and these are the part these are the ones that you don't want to blend all together you want to find that whatever cooking you do y'all you know, i'm telling you it's gonna look good you see that cooking crap i did last time that ain't, that's whack i know that I'm pretty sure everybody done told me, oh, hell no. <laughs> but, yo, you try this. Do it yourself and then do all this. Cut it like that with the little tiny chunks or small chunks or big chunks. You know, and just keep it in there. Do not blend them. And then you, the rest, you're going to blend them. You know, watch. I'm telling you. So here goes sweet pepper now. The orange sweet pepper. Cut them out like this. Who cares? Whichever way you want to cut it, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Look, a big chunk. Throw it. Throw my muñeca. Cancerola. You know? Cut in pieces. Oop, there you go. Cut in pieces. Put it in there. Look. Nothing. You know? Get a red one. So it could be another little piece. We don't got red ones here. And you might find it in some sofrito, some parts, you might not. Either way, you might find one, two, three, whatever. It's just going to make it good, I'm telling you. They got orange pepper. No, excuse me, a yellow one. <laughs> Cut in pieces, you know, I got the orange, I got the red, I got the... Okay, let me see what else. Ooh, the green peppers I already used for more up. So I guess we ain't going to have it like that. Look, a big one. Leave it there. It's a whole lot. An orange small pepper. Oh my. Not that serious. Be happy. Some garlic. Throw that sucker in there. That's a whole lot. Some of the big pieces, leave it like that. Maybe this big one, I'll cut it in half. There you go. And another half. Oh my. There you go. There you go. These are the parts that you're not going to cut. Even a piece of onion. A small one. You see? Like the onion like this. Cut it in half like that. And those are the ones that you didn't cut. Oh, shit. Well, I'll get back to y'all. 